Good afternoon and welcome to another little fishy adventure. As you can probably tell, I'm making my way down to a little spot and uh, I'm hoping to get into some basils. It's a bit windy, but the thing that really attracts me to this place is the watercolour. Recently, the, the sea has been so clear, gin clear. We've just got a northerly wind at the moment that's just starting to colour up the sea and it's yeah it's really looking good hopefully we can get into a fish or two because i've actually not had a decent bass or a proper bass for a while so it's been one of them it's been quite hard but you know every fisherman has his day and you know we all go through these kind of patches where we don't catch fish you know we're fishermen fishing it's it happens you know fish move yes we kind of know where fish are going to be behavior watercraft and all of that but uh, it's just one of those. I'm just sulking. <laughs> I want to fish badly. Once we get down there, I'll hook you up with what I'm using, show you the techniques, and to be honest, I'll probably just wing it. Probably just cast, 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 cast until I catch something. But until that point, we're just going to fish on. Now, while I'm walking down to this mark, just checking out to see if there's any dead birds around. We have a uh, the avian bird flu that's ripping through some of the, the Gallic colonies, especially up near Cornwall. But there are a lot of dead birds washing up. Not so much that many this week, to be honest, but I have been seeing quite a lot. It's a pretty sad sight, to be honest, because gannets are such beautiful and amazing birds. So yeah, seeing them all washed up and cormorants and gulls and things like that just really is a a sad state of affairs so hopefully we don't see any and we start to see the last of them but if we do i'll point them out we won't go too close usually they're full of maggots and things like that so nearly at the spot and then we'll start fishing right well gear wise today as you can probably hear, the wind's proper howling, so anything too light is going to cause a big bow in my line. So I'm probably going to just use a, a little bit heavier than usual, but I really want to keep that motion and that flutter on the lure. As always, I'm using a BG. I've had some problems recently with the BG, but I'm hoping that it sorted itself out. Um, and then also I'm using... Uh, a Tenru Injection 79, 8 to 35 gram casting. Obviously, I've got a, a leader on there of about 20 pounds. And then I'm using actually some of these lovely lures from Mr. Fish, which is a mixed sticks paddle, which I've glued onto a 25 gram head with a nice big sharp hook. And that's going to give a lovely flutter. Reason I'm going white is there is a bit of water color which i don't mind to be honest i've been really looking forward to a little bit of color in the water yes it's really good for you know the holiday makers and stuff crystal clear water but for me unless you're fishing at night it's it's not that great to be honest um the fishing hasn't been that great for me maybe for other people don't get me wrong there probably are people out there catching fish but i haven't so nothing anyway to shout out about not little skimmers so uh yeah i'm gonna fly that out keep it low and slow and then uh, we'll go from there so hopefully we can get into something I was into my first fish there, but it was just a bit of snag. Very windy. Got a sideways wind, it's not the best, but... Snaggy again. Water is still quite shallow, so... 
gonna keep working the clock. Just watch out because behind me the water is getting cut off, but I have got my waders on, so it's okay. Very deep through there. Right, as the water is coming up quite quick, I'll take a 10 minute break, wait for it to fill over this area, and then I'll start fishing over and around it. Now I'm hoping as the tide comes up, the fish will come on the bite, as always. Gotta keep optimistic. I'm really looking forward to catching a fish and giving you guys the boom because we've just not had a boom for a while, have we? It's just not happened really, so. But I guess that's fishing, you know? Everyone's gotta take the rough with the smooth. That's how fishing is. And that's how it's been lately, so. Less of the sad talk, we're gonna catch a fish. We're gonna catch a fish. Even the sound of the water just sitting here is just mesmerizing. Anyone that watches these, you live in an urban area, you live in town, get away from the city. Go down the beach and just listen to it. You don't have to fish. There's nothing more peaceful, more tranquil than that. It's incredible. That's why I do it. That's why I enjoy fishing so much. Not just for the fish, not for the trophy fish. Not just because I enjoy it, but to be out here at the water's edge, just enjoying it. You don't get this just living in the city, living in the town. You just don't get it at all. It's incredible. It's good for the health. It's good for the head, good for the heart. It's good for me, and that's what matters. Hopefully it's good for you as well, listening. The wind's howling. But the water is lovely, nice little bump. I see some birds out in the distance working as well. Well far out of range. Take five minutes to get there on a boat. First fish of the day, come on. Doesn't feel too big to be honest, but it actually might be a pollock. What is it? What is it? It's a bass. Nice. Yes! Who wanted the boom? Boom! Small fish, but let's just let the bear arm off. Small fish, but taking on the mixed stick. Let's get you out. Come on, go. Yes, do the dance. Oh, right near your eye. I don't really want to hurt you too much, bro. And slam that. There you go. First fish of the session. Little school bass. But I've not had a bass for a while, so very welcome fish. Lovely. And uh, yeah, he's smashed that lure up, but a very welcome fish. Take it on the mixed stick. Yes, boom, let's go. Oh, so welcome. Thank you very much, bud. There you go. You, boom.
Let's go! Right, I've been fishing a load of different areas, loads of different gullies that are filling up and now I'm fishing over some right weedy stuff. So out with the mixed stick and now I'm gonna go for one of my favorite lures of the year. Um, and it has to be the JJ Minnow. Reason, I love the color, I love the rattle. Weedless as well, so. Hopefully we can get something on that. That'd be nice. I'll leave this with you guys to look after. flies out this lure. The other lure had a rattle. This one is, the other lure is silent. Oh yes, fish straight away. Yes. That's gone. That's gone. Swimming towards me, I think. Yep, swimming towards me. It's only small. <laughs> what a change up, what a mix up. All right, let's just get out of here. Some would call that lucky, some would call that chance, but who cares? Come on, little guy. Only small, hit me like a bullet. Just a little baby fish, but hey, first cast on the JJ, what a turnaround, what a change. Let him go. See you there, mate. Well, so far that's two fish to the good. I'm actually really happy that I've had two fish, to be honest. As I say, lately the fishing for me has not been that good. So uh, two fish are really more than welcome. I'm gonna crack on. I haven't got a head torch with me, but sunset's in about 25 minutes. So I've probably got about 45 minutes of real light, but I wanna fish into that, that dark area. I've also gotta be careful because the tide is coming up and can get cut off in places like this. I think this is a really good time to mention that, you know, when you're fishing out there and when you're fishing spots where the tide's coming up especially, always know your route out, always know where you're going to go over the rocks, which gullies are going to fill up. And I actually, and I know a few people, and I know probably a lot of people do this, but I use a particular app called Tides. Um, you can use that for Apple iOS. And uh, it's really good to go down to places without a rod see where the, the water is at a certain point of the tide like the meter wise and it's got a graph that goes up and down you can you know rub your finger along it to see how many meters it's at and what time it's at i think it's a really good app to have it's always about being safe doesn't matter if you're on the fish you want to be able to get out of an area if the tide is coming up so always be safe always know where you're going always know a route out and if you know all of that, you can have fun. You don't have to kind of worry about stuff. I have a few alarms set on the phone. So they'll go off at certain points at a particular meter to a particular time. So I know when to get off. So keep your wits about you, but have fun. If you can 
If you can have fun and be safe, fish as hard as you want.